In this video, I'd like to give a little more concrete example of the idea of MapReduce. So MapReduce started with the notion, again, that things were distributed across multiple nodes in a, in a distributed file system. So in this case, we have some data that's distributed across several nodes here, in this case, six nodes. So on the left side of the screen, you see we have beer, diapers, baby powder in the first node. The second node contains bread, umbrella, diapers. The third node, baby powder, beer, diapers. Uh, the fourth node, milk, diapers, beer. The fifth node is detergent, mi uh, milk, and beer. And then the last node is Coca-Cola. So the idea first, the first thing we have to do is do a mapping procedure. So to take it from the, the way it is currently, we're going to now map this to what we are needing. So what we're actually doing here is aggregating the number of items that exist for each of these individual items that we have. So this is shopping cart data, and I probably should have turned off the uh, review, uh, the, the uh, grammar review here, but I think you can still see that uh, beer, diapers, baby powder, and bread are from, and an umbrella are from cart one. Cart two has diapers and baby powder. Cart three has beer, diapers, milk. And cart four, diapers, milk, detergent. Cart five, beer, milk, and Coca-Cola. So the first step is to map this to what we need. And it's pretty simple. All we want is a count of each of the items on each node. So we want to count beer. There is one instance. Then we want to count diapers. There's one instance. Then we want to count baby powder. There is one instance. And we continue doing this. Bread. Umbrella. Diapers. The thing that should be noted here as I'm continuing this process is that each of these items that are listed, and I'm just going to copy and paste to make this a little faster, each of the items that are listed as we're doing this addition or these counts, this is happening in parallel across each of these nodes. So um, each of these nodes is doing this process in parallel. So if you have, you know, millions of records in your system, then this process will take much less time if you do it in parallel than it would if you're doing it individually. And that is what MapReduce is trying to um, allow you to do in a much faster way. So the next thing that happens is the shuffle step. And the shuffle step takes what you have mapped and it collects all of the information together. So I'm going to shuffle this and try to do this in alphabetical order if I can. And I think baby powder is first. And then we have a list of counts. So if we scan down our item, we have one in the first node, we have zero in the second node, one in the third node, zero, zero, zero. So there's baby powder. And then we do the same thing for uh, our other 
items. And let me try to make this larger so we can keep it all on the same screen. I think the next one would be beer. So again, we have a list of one, comma, zero, comma, one, 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 zero. And these are just the counts. We're simply collecting the counts into these lists. Uh, the third thing would be Coca-Cola. And we count those. We have zeros across the board until the sixth one. There's one in the last item. So we continue the shuffle process. Diapers would be next, I think. Uh, actually, detergent. And detergent, we have zero, zero in the second node, zero in the third node, zero in the fourth node, one in the fifth, and zero in the sixth. Then diapers. Diapers, we have one in the first node, one in the second, one in the third, one in the fourth, zero in the fifth, and sixth. Let's see. I know there are seven items, and I'm trying to make sure I find all of them. Next would be milk. And in the first node, we have zero, second zero, third zero, fourth one, fifth one, and sixth zero. And then finally, we have umbrella. And there are no umbrellas in the first node. There's one in the second, none in the rest. So that is the shuffle step where we're taking the data that we mapped and we're changing its format a bit into this other format that we need. So now I'm going to um, copy this. I'm going to add another page here. page break and just paste this here so we have um, the proper display. And then um, have another column break and I'll put these side by side so we can see them. So what's the reduce step? The reduce step is very, very simple. If Word will cooperate with me. The reduce step is very simple. So we take the values that we have and then we perform the aggregate function on them. So baby powder, we simply add all of these together and we get two. We simply add all of these together. We get four for beer. We get one for Coca-Cola. So these are the sum totals of each of these. One for this, detergent. Four for diapers. Two for milk and one for umbrella. So this is the result of our MapReduce process.